everyone. I want to show you something that I've made from my friend, uh, Lynn Kent on Facebook. So this is what I've made for her needle book. So I hope you can see this okay. Um, what I did to make this, I cut out a piece of oblong felt and then I covered it front and back using calico fabric. I then used this pretty lace trim on the front cover, um, front and back. So I used two sections, one at the top, sorry, one at the top and one at the bottom. I then printed out this image that I bought in the centre from Etsy onto printable inkjet canvas. Um, I got a doily, cut the centre out to frame the image, stuck that onto the front cover and then I went around the image using a fine like ivory lace. Um, then I put a ribbon just here uh, with a little rose on it and a butterfly applique in the bottom like that, on the bottom. And then I put flowers then on the edges of the needle book, flower appliques, and put this pretty pink trim that I cut into sections for the centers of the flowers. So, I'll show you the inside now. For the first page, I made a pocket here, and I've just got a little card in that, the sewing machine on it. Um, and then I decorated the pocket then using little flower appliques. And these are the little pink appliques. And then on this page here, I've done a pocket page. Um, I got another little tag here, all sewing themed. Um, so I've tried to use the same lace that I used on the front cover throughout the book so it would all match nicely and then I've used a um, little flower at the top here um, to decorate and then I put a flower applique on the pocket like that. That page. I've made these pages out of the centre pages out of felt. So anyway, I'll show you the next page now. For the next page, I've made a little pocket using this heart applique. So something can be put inside that. And I've used, again, I've used the same like butterfly applique on, on the uh, heart that I used on the front cover. And then I used sections of this trim all the way through the book. Um, this pretty pink trim here. I've used throughout the book to decorate and then I've got some appliques on this page that uh, Lynn can use, they just pinned on. So there's those pages. The next page is a pocket page again, um, another little card inside here. So it says vintage sewing on it, I thought it was quite pretty. And then again, I've decorated the pockets using the same little flower appliques and the little applique centers. And then for the middle page here, um, hang on a second. I don't know if you can see this. Um, I've got needles inside in the, se in the center of the book. So there's that page. This page then, I've also made a pocket, this side, um, and then I've got another little pretty little card in there, look, so it's that one. And then for this page here, um, I've got a charm here that I've purchased for Lynn, um, it's got little uh, a little button on it, a little thimble, a little sewing machine, and a spool and a needle. It's a really pretty little charm that is. And then I've pinned some um, appliques, flower appliques on the pages um, so Lynn can take those off and use them on her work. And then for this page here, I've done another pocket page. 
There's another little card in it. And then I decorated the pocket using another flower applique. So there's that page. I've made quite a lot of pages in this book. I thought, well, you know, it's, and I've put lots of pockets in this book as well. So I thought it would be a nice idea so Lynn can store lots of things inside the book. So let me show you this page now. I've made some stick pens to go in this page. Um, I've done them in a pink and a crystals and white pearls because Lynn likes pink like me. So I put those in that page. I've gone around all the pages using this crochet lace. It's really pretty lace, it says. So it's that page. And then for this page, I've done another pocket page with another card in it, like that. And then I haven't done it yet because the ribbon is going to get all creased. So I'll, I'll wait until I send the book to Lynn. So anyway, there's the back of that. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with the way this has turned out. Um, so I hope you like it, Lynn. I'm not going to put this video up until Lynn has opened her parcel and she can see what I've made for her. So thank you everyone for watching. Please leave a comment.